all right guys so i'm not sure how many companies are still there in terms of flagship which are giving you expandable storage i haven't seen much of them i guess samsung is amongst the few manufacturer who is still giving you expandable storage why it is important because the problem is that so you only stick to the 64 128 or you can end up paying a lot of money just to get an extra storage i mean come on the specs are always same you can go around with the 64 gigabytes why you need to you know spend a lot of dollars and money again just to get 256 gigabytes so maybe 512 gigabytes storage why not just look for you know another alternative so traditionally i guess most of the peoples are using some sort of a usb ways they are connecting their uh, phone with some kind of dongle you for an instance you just hook this thing here like that and you connect your this thing with the com phone provided your phone needs to have otg support and you are good to go that's also an option or in some rare instances for example in some cases i do connect my computer hard drive you know for example if you're if i'm a hurry i don't want to turn on my computer i just need to copy something here i will just connect that thing that's fine now here is a good options again for you i'm going to show you which i'm using from so long time i'm just wanted to give you guys what is that thing so this is the samsung portable ssd this is a t5 edition the latest one you can get right now this is successor to t3 and it comes in a lot of storage options starting from 128 to, to you know 256 and 500 1 tb 2 terabyte based on your need you can opt one and also a quick note this is actually a lot of costlier compared to your traditional stuff that you're using till now i guess on an average they are four times costlier so that's your beauty this is your samsung ssd t5 edition very very small and pocketable if i just show you quick stuff in terms of size comparison that's how it just looks like also just to verify with our credit cards this is how it looks like when you just calculate here it is even a smaller than your credit card it has the same dimension as your credit card you can actually hide with them also what else you get inside this box so they have a lot of uh, connection option available this is your traditional uh, you know usb 3.0 to type c because this thing needs usb type c you can connect this thing here and you can connect this to the computer also for the smartphone peoples or for the computers who have their thunderbolt or the usb type c you can connect this one to one in and you can hook up that to another end let's check it out first i'm going to show you quick stuff okay i'm just going to use this one plus six so this is a 4.20 gigabytes file size i'm just going to copy here and paste inside this usb drive so this is a usb drive i'm going to just paste here let's see how much time does it takes so i'm not going to show you complete copy paste just wanted to show you average speed that you will be getting based on your file size that may vary so speed is here almost uh, 912 kb per second 612 kb per second so it is actually varying on and around you are getting around 1 mb per second and it shows me how much time exactly it's going to take 1 hour and 15 minutes so i'm just going to cancel it and uh, yep based on your device to device which you have from the company your speed may vary now i'm just going to show you guys in case really you are using such thing connecting this again so i'm just going to copy the same file there let's see how much speed we are getting here this time so this is the speed slightly better than what we have seen here it's at least uh, more than 1 mb most of the times now it is less than that so also you can see 2 mb 3 mb based on your you know drive this is the latest drive air data it works super fast on the computer i'm getting around 20 megabytes per second this is again going to take almost an hour maybe 40 50 minutes so let's cancel it all right now it is time to check the speed of the ssd how much time does it takes and uh, here is my cable so first you need to connect this thing here obviously and uh, just connect your cable to this phone once you connect you can see there's a blue light here that means it is working drive i'm just going to copy the same file there let's copy it and try to paste it here so here's the speed in front of you and it actually varies sometime it goes to the kbs sometime it went to the mbs on an average it is uh, around uh, 20 18 megabytes per second quite faster compared to what we have seen here earlier so using those they were almost taking an hours 40 50 minute of time 
but this time again it is reduced but let's see because it shows a lot of variation on the speed so we are almost close to complete So we are about to be complete and it is completed 3 minute and 27 second quite faster compared to what we have seen you know because the speed that we have seen traditionally it is varying from somewhere to 4 megabytes per second to on an average 28 to 30 megabytes so it depends based on the type of file you're copying since i am copying a very huge file if you're copying a smaller file you may be getting higher speed but for sure uh, they are definitely faster compared to these traditional usb storage and things and good thing is that you can also use the same thing to connect to your computer too so there you have it guys this is your ssd that you can really use for the super fast data transfer now the question comes should you buy such kind of expensive uh, hard drive or not so i will say only on the condition for most uh, if you're buying your flagship phones you don't want to go with the base storage option and you're paying a lot of money just to get extra storage on your phone whatever may be the reason so i will say this should be a best option for you the speed is already there in just couple of minutes you can easily copy many gigabytes of movie on your phone here and there on the same place also you can connect to any other phones you know that's again plus thing again on the third side you can easily connect it to the computer in case you need to copy paste that thing this is the best way otherwise if you have super sensitive information you, know, you really wanted to store a lot of personal medias you know you just don't want to go with the cloud stuff this should be the best option so this one i'm using from so long time and it is working super fine and its speed may vary based on your time to time if this is not a cheap gadget so if you really go such kind of uh, with such kind of drive if you're affording a flagship phones because in the budget phones it's really tough to get super high speed because the processor is low ram is low so this is uh, for the people who are really crazy for the smartphones you know you want to spend a lot of money to carry around a lot of storage with you thanks for watching have a great day